Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? We are pretty good. Uh, it's just after 8 a.m. Central Time on Monday, and we are in uh, Humble, Texas at uh, Ferguson Waterworks. And we've got the most surly fork driver ever. Man, this guy, I don't know. Uh, we got um, we got in Friday night around nine o'clock. Parked the truck and I took uh, Taywin to the hotel, and then uh, I went home. As I said, my, my wife and uh, stepson were not home this past weekend. They went to a Boy Scout camp, and I have considered going out and spending the weekend out there. But the time to get out there and uh, the time I would have had to get back and everything else just wasn't worth it. So I stayed at home. Took care of some personal business, went out and did some things, cleaned the house, stuff like that, and uh, kind of took the load off the wife so she wouldn't have so much to do when she got home. Got all the laundry done, just stuff like that. Kind of just hung out and did some stuff. I did run out and do a few things, and uh, but uh, it was all in all, it was a pretty quiet weekend. Um, we didn't leave till late on Sunday uh, to leave. I'd originally intended to leave like noon or something. And then get down here and just hang out and wait. But I decided, because my wife and my stepson were late coming back, that I was just going to wait till they got back. And uh, they showed up about uh, 2 o'clock, and I ended up spending just a little bit of time with them. And then I left, picked up Taywin, and we left Dallas at 4 o'clock. And we got, the, we got to the Flying J in New Caney, which is about 20 miles up the road. Uh, yeah, I guess it's right about 8.15 called it a day and uh, got up early this morning but the drive was pretty easy no big deal nice weather the super moon or well, the beginning of it was last night and it was just really really not it was cool looking at it coming down 45 and seeing that there on the horizon um, it was just a weird night uh, we had a I can't say a young lady but I can't say an old lady truck driver parked next to us last night and the preferred parking because I had ordered preferred parking the day before so I could stay stay longer and uh, I guess about she pulled in about 10 and parked the truck and I was on my iPad and Tay went finally come back from uh, being in the driver's lounge and we were turning out the lights we were going to sleep and we kept hearing this sound this very distinctive sound <laughs> apparently she had her windows open she was a solo driver Something was going on in that truck. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? So I got up to go out, go to the bathroom real quick and she had her windows open and all kind of noise coming at it and truck rocking around back and forth, dogs barking. <laughs> I'll leave that there. I ain't gonna say no more. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't, we just killed us. It went on until well after midnight, couldn't sleep. <sighs> well, uh, this is Taylor's last week. I think I said that before, and uh, he's uh, pretty much doing everything. Uh, he got me pulled us in here this morning. Started taking the straps off. I helped roll them up, and that was about it. <laughs> and uh, he's waiting for him to unload. He's waiting, and then for them to finish unloading us, and then we're gonna get on our way. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing. Probably gonna be something around here in Houston. But there's a truck stop about 200 yards down the road that we're going to go to and park until they get us a load. So I'll let y'all know when we find out what we're doing. Until then, see you later. Bye. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? We are pretty good. Um, it's about uh, 1230 Central Time, and we are in Pineland, Texas, at Georgia Pacific Lumber. Um, while we were waiting for them to finish unloading, we got a pre-plan, and uh, I went ahead and did all the trip planning so I could have it and uh, 
once we were empty, uh, Tay went and got in the truck and saw that we had a load. So we pulled out and went down the street to a truck stop that's right outside Ferguson Waterworks and parked there. And then he uh, pulled all his information, uh, built his trip plan to get here. I'm not sure whether he actually built a trip plan to get to where we're going. And uh, got situated and did some paperwork. Then um, we started heading this way. I guess uh, we got here about 10 minutes ago. Uh, we're heading to Wesley, Arkansas, which is uh, north of Fort Smith, um, on the, yeah, way up on uh, off of 540, I 49. Um, I think it's about I don't know 30 or 40 miles east of Fayetteville, Arkansas. <clears throat> That's due anytime tomorrow, um, after seven o'clock and before 4 p.m. Um, not really sure what we're getting since I'm just kind of sitting in the seat. I've never been here before, so hopefully he gets all the information he needs. Um, I know right off the bat he didn't ask about tarping stations. Because <clears throat> I asked him if he did, and he said no. So he, hopefully he figures out where we're supposed to do that. Because this load is supposed to be tarped. Um, once we get done here, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Because I can see there's a line of trucks at least 10 or 12 deep. <laughs> waiting to get into the loading area so we might we might be here a while not really sure so other than that's a great day and uh once we get loaded we're let him get us going and pick where we're going to stop i know we're going to stop by fuel somewhere not sure where and he'll have to figure that out too so we will i guess talk later till then see ya Good evening, YouTube. How are you this evening for this rare nighttime update? Um, we're pretty good, but we're tired. Uh, it is about 9.15 Central Time, and we are at the Flying J in Texarkana, Texas. We shot a little bit out of route, so we'd have a place to park. Luckily, we got here, there's plenty of parking. Oh, it's starting to fill up quick. Um... We were there roughly four hours. Um, we pulled around to where he thought that we were supposed to go. And we sat there for about 30 minutes and I asked him, are you sure we're supposed to be here? He goes, I think so. He says, well, why don't you go down and ask some questions and find out exactly where we're supposed to be? Because we were in a line behind trucks. Well, they were loading in a different area. We ended up being in the wrong area, so we had to drive us around to where they were loading, where we were supposed to load us. Once we got to that spot, we sat there for about an hour. And uh, about an hour and 30 minutes before they started to load us. So by that point, by the time they actually started to load us, we'd been there two and a half hours, roughly. Something like that. And then uh, took them about 30 minutes to load us. Took us about 25 minutes to secure it. Um, I'm not going to post a video of it. It's just lumber. But uh, it has two tiers with a gut strap and a tier on top. We got all that done. We pulled out one to the scales and we scaled out. And we only had a half a tank of fuel. And we were almost 5,000 pounds overweight. So we had to pull out on the street. And then back up and then pull back in so we can go back in and have them reload it we pulled up pulled over and we checked back in with the uh the shipping department and the court they seemed to be having bad luck because there were two other trucks in front of us that had to be reloaded and a truck pulled in behind us that had to be reloaded so they took we had nine we had ten um 20 foot sections on us uh, 20 foot bundles on us. They took one of them off and then recentered the one on top. And we re secured that and pulled back out and tarped it. And that took us about 45 minutes to tarp. And I got two brand new, I mean, brand new tarps. And they were uncooperative. 
Probably because they're so stiff. It's going to take a little while for them to supple up. Um, got that done. And by the time we pulled away, got us in our loaded call and leaving shipper call, uh, four hours and 15 minutes passed. And so that pretty much left us with just just over four and a half hours of uh, on our 14 left. And uh, so we started heading this heading up, and it's really up. To, it was really up to him where we went, but he neglected to figure out where we were going to stop before we took off. And then we stopped for a load check, two load checks, and he still hadn't done it. And he was kind of relying on me to do it for him. I said, "Well, it's not my place to do it because I'm not always going to be here." And then, uh, so I went ahead and said, "I'll do it today, but tomorrow I'm not doing it." And um, I mean it. But we end up on the side of the highway because we run out of hours. That's his. It's going to be his problem. Um. So we detoured over here to the Flying J. We're going up 59. Uh, we were going up 59 to 259, but I told him that if you go up 259, the way he had originally planned, he'd have to drive through the western, the eastern mountains of Oklahoma. They're not really mountains per se, but there's some pretty steep climbs and it's unnecessary. We can deviate and actually take a shorter route, straight up 59. Uh, through Texarkana and knock about maybe five miles off of it and not have to deal with any of that except for one or two little hills. So he opted to do that and I said, well, if you need a place to stop anywhere, anytime you're going up that far and you can't make it the whole way to Little to, to uh, Fort Smith, you need to stop and figure out where you're going to go. Whether it's going to be a little pull off and if you don't know where they're at, then there's no point even going on. You might as well stop at the Flying J in Texarkana or one of the little truck stops around Texarkana. Well, they opted to come here so I could get him a shower because he, we both needed one. Bad after standing out in the sun, tarping that load. So that's where we're at. We're here. We got here at 8.30 and we're going to leave at 6.30 and we'll probably get up to Wesley around noon they're about somewhere i'm not sure i'm not really sure i think it's 250 miles from here but it's it takes five hours to drive 300 miles and with uh, it being all back roads i should say back roads it's u.s highways but it's back roads because it's not divided or nothing like that it'll take it'll take all of five hours to get there so probably 11 30 12 o'clock we'll be there tomorrow and then i no clue what we'll do i mean 90 percent chance they'll send us to fort smith or somewhere right like that uh, they may, may send us up into Missouri and pick up that uh, stuff we picked up last time. I think it was raw lumber, untarped, that I picked up last week. Was it last week? No, it was two or three weeks ago. I, I talked about it. He was with me, so he knows how to do it up through driving through the lower Ozarks and all that good stuff. I think we had taken that to Alabama. I don't remember. I've slept since then. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. He, he's great at driving. He is really having difficulty. Excuse my sinuses are bothering me. Backing up. He just can't seem to get the hang of it, and I'm not sure what to do about it. I've had him driving around parking lots and drive, back it up, and he continues to, to try to back it up like a car, and he continues to look in the wrong mirrors. It took him 20 minutes to back up into a spot that was four trucks, four empty spaces wide. So... He's got a couple days to figure it out. I can't keep him on the truck just for backing. They'll have to work with him in uh, Little Rock. So hopefully he'll get better. He's got a few days left to, to get to it. So that's it for today. Until we talk tomorrow, be safe. Keep the shiny side up, 73s. Good night.